a THOG video. Hello! So, next video, which is this video, so it's not my next video, it's this video, but hey. Um, I wanted to talk about going to the gym. I've just started going to the gym. Um, I'm not exactly in the slimmest of shape, so gym, absolutely fine, don't mind it. But it's kind of weird, you know, the exercises that they make you do. They're just so unrelated to real life. Um, you know, the most popular one is probably the cross trainer, which is basically skiing. So you're just basically going like this for ages and ages and ages, and you're really tired. But it's kind of weird because if, you lay, if your arms are weak, you can do all the work with your legs and it just moves your arms automatically. So you're not actually exercising your arms which you need. And vice versa, I'm sure if you've got weak legs, why do you have weak, weak legs? Because you walk everywhere you don't walk in your hands. But, you know, if you've got weak legs, you can just do all the army thing and it'll move your legs for you. It's kind of odd. Yeah, hip adduction. Where you, you have to sort of sit and you have to sort of do that. Either pushing out or pushing in. And it's like, well, when do you ever need to do these bizarre things? And, I mean, the gym's alright, but then you get the people in the gym. And some people are fine, some people are just doing their exercises and life is good. Now, the sort of, this general sort of theory when you're doing exercises, you know, say, say you want to do the, the, shoulder, the shoulder pressy thing. So you're sort of there, and you're holding a couple of metal bars, which are tied to a load of weights, and you go, Ugh! And say you do this ten times, yeah, that's something like ten times, then the theory is you, you have a rest to recover and then do it again, and which is fine. So most people just sort of sit there and take the time and then start again. But then you get the few people who, not so much on the shoulder you want, but on some of the other arm exercises, they sort of pose in between. So they kind of go, and then they'll just stand next to the machine, sort of. You actually get a huge range of people in the gym, which is quite interesting. You do get some, like, some fairly young kids. I've seen like 10 year olds going on there, which is fine. Um, as long as they don't overdo the muscles, you know, fair enough. Um, obviously, you get women, you get men in there. And you also get really, really old blokes. Which fair play to them for exercising, but you see, you see these, see these guys, and you kind of go, you don't go to the gym, do you? But then they just sort of lift something which is twice as heavy as I can manage, so it kind of puts me to shame. But nevertheless, you know, the gym is actually not as bad as I expected. I've gone for like an ultra cheapo gym, so it doesn't have like a swimming pool, which is fine because I can't actually swim. Um, can't swim, can't ride a bike. Learned to clip my fingers when I was 19. So, um, yeah, I'm not desperately coordinated for any sort of bikey thing or anything like that. Um, so basically all I want is the gym. I mean, it still comes with like 43 classes that you can do in a week. But the trouble is the classes, I don't dare go to a class because I know I'm not desperately fit. And I've got no idea how fit the people are expected to be in the class. It'd be okay if there was like an introduction class where everyone was a bit overweight and he was like, right, now we're gonna do some walking. And everyone just kind of going, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling the burn now. Woo wee! Oh, can I ever sit down in a Kit Kat now? If, if that was the sort of thing, then great, I could do that. But they're all cool things, things like body combat, you know, and you sort of rah, and warrior training, rah, and, you, and you think, I don't dare go because I'm probably the guy that will be used as an example for everyone else. You know, everyone else will be sort of, right, kick him. Yeah. Mike, it's your job not to be kicked. I'm like, well, just kick me, just get over and done with. I'll run around a bit, you'll catch me and you'll kick me. Yeah, you know, crack on. So I'm not entirely convinced that it's really ideal for me. Isn't the classes? Hopefully that will change, but we'll see how it goes. The, inter the other interesting thing about the gym is it has like 
it does like aromatherapy sessions and massage and all that kind of thing. Um, which is kind of interesting because um, I did I, I did a short massage course at college. Um, so yeah, uh, if you if you need a hand massage, I'm your man. Anything else, probably can do. It. I can do hand. I can do sort of shoulder. And I can do head. We were supposed to do feet on the last week, but I was teamed up with a guy called Abdul um, because. Most of the people in the class, it was like a couple that had come to do the class together. So it was like mother and daughter or two friends. Um, but then I'd signed up for this course just because it was free and I thought, I'll do this. And Abdul was the same. So we got paired together and he's like, yeah, we're not touching each other's feet. That is not happening. No way, sorry, but we're not doing that. So we ended up just going to the pub instead for the last third week and we never got our certificates. So I'm not actually qualified. Introduction to body massage. Massa, uh, masseria? Massagia? Ma massager? Whatever. Um, but yeah, so they do do that, so that's kind of cool. Um, and I, what, what I do do, being very geeky, is I note down all the exercises I've done. So I've got a little pink book. It's so manly. I, I, I walk in, and I basically I go in, and I'm like, in like, Shorts and a t-shirt, usually a geeky t-shirt, like a Ghostbusters t-shirt, or maybe a ZX Spectrum one, you know, those are the sort of ones I generally wear. Um, I'll have my phone with some earplugs in, um, earphones, whatever, and playing like Busted. Uh, just show you how cool I am, or maybe share. One weird thing, why is it that people have started now wearing the big headphones? When I was at college, um, and everyone was using, you know, it was cool if you had a Walkman, you know, everyone was using like a tape Walkman. There was one or two people with CD Walkmans, but the vast majority had a tape Walkman or some kind of tape, you know, carry portable player. And everyone used just basically like little earphones that just plugged in your ears, and that was it. Whereas now people go around and they've got like the big headphone -y things on. I mean, I assume they give better sound than the little earplugs, but... I always kind of thought the ear, the ear plug, the ear little earphones were cool because they're not as obtrusive and they didn't take as much room up. But hey, now everyone wears the big ones, you know, like the like the DJs or something, and they've just popped out to the gym to to sweat some carbs off, and then they go go back into the club and lay down some fat tracks. Yeah. So anyway, so you get that. So I walk in and I'm like, yeah, I've got me, I've got me five or my. Uh, Boys, I'm going on, going on my earphones. Um, also, I've got my pink notebook and a blue uh, water bottle, which I got for a pound from Pound Shop. Um, and it's kind of rubbish, is the water bottle, because it leaks. And if it goes anywhere near the pink notebook, it will it will leak on it. I can't help it; it just does it. I don't know, it seems to be, if they're too close together, it's like a magnetic charge, and the water just sort of trickles out of invisible cracks from the water bottle into the notebook, and then I look and I've got a soaked notebook. And that's happened like twice already, and I've only been going for a month. Um, so that's really annoying. I'm, I'm in like, my Ghostbusters t-shirt, and my shorts, and all this kind of gubbins, and everyone else is in like, proper sports gear. Everyone is in like, little like, I don't know, like Adidas tops or Nike tops or whatever, and they're in sort of tracky bottoms or they're in shorts, but somehow cooler shorts than the ones I've got, because the shorts I wear are basically the only ones that still fit me. I've got like three or four pairs of shorts, and I've managed to expand out of all of them. So there's only like one last pair, which is kind of, yeah, need to sort of sort out my weight and my size a little bit so I can use more clothes. But whatever, you know, I'll go there with like my ping book and I'm noting down all of my exercises, like, Calf press 100 kilograms 10 times or whatever. The calf press is kind of cool. It's, it's, it's like you're trying to move a cabinet. You know, if, if this was a wall and you were the cabinet here and you sort of, you get your back up against the cabinet and then you sort of push out with your foot to push the cabinet away and you sort of, you sort of, you sort of, it's that sort of movement, pushing, pushing backwards. That's kind of cool because I don't know how, but you can actually put like quite a high weight and still do it. I suppose because it's your legs and your legs are quite strong because you walk around them. So that's all right. But 
I'm still just unable to look vaguely cool in the gym, which isn't really an issue for me. Um, although there is a number of people that um, I work with that do actually go to the same gym, so luckily I've managed to avoid seeing any of them so far. But it's probably not going to last. But hey, you know, it's also his life. So in a nutshell, yeah, I'm going to the gym and I'm actually vaguely enjoying it. I'm trying to go every other day, at least three times a week. Um, or if I don't go to, if I miss one of the gym sessions out, I'll do some other sort of significant exercise. You know, that's the only reason why I might not go, is to replace it with like a proper exercise session or something else, like going for a long run or, you know, eating a really, really massive sandwich. You know, because those jaw muscles need building up as well, you know, buddy. So, yeah, that was the gym, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I may be doing more. Um, it's been suggested that I microwave a banana. Now, I was going to do this, but apparently they catch fire. So I'm not entirely convinced, because I do quite like having a microwave, and the oven's broken at the minute. Uh, there's a guy coming to fix the oven tomorrow, hopefully. But for now, um, the microwave is our way of making stuff hot. So I don't really want to set fire to it by microwaving a banana. But, you know, that might change. Um, and if it does, you know, be sure that I will be videoing it and sticking it up on here for everyone. Thanks for watching. If you did like this, then please do like this. Um, feel free to stick a comment down below. I love to see comments. Share it. Um, if you really, really like it and you'd maybe like to see some of my other stuff, do feel free to subscribe. I'll put a load of weird sketches and what I hope are funny things on the internet and I'd love for you to see more of them. So uh, thanks for your time. Um, I do also blog and there'll be a link to my blog somewhere around here. You know, somewhere there'll be a link to my blog. Maybe on the video but I've not really got the hang of doing annotations in YouTube. Got to try and improve on that. But Thoggy blog... Thoggy blog blogspot.com <coughs> foggy.blogspot.com that's my blog so please do if you want to go and check that as well I try and blog every other day I've just started a series of interviewing YouTube creators that I love on my blog um, the first one I did was with Nick Crompton that's up live I've got another one planned in a couple of weeks um, I'm sorting out another one to go on two weeks after that so yeah by all means I'm doing those if by all means you've got someone who you think they're really cool, um, or I make videos and I'm really cool, let me know. You know, I'd love to have a look at your videos and see see what you do. Okay, bye.